cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy cozy are we. We're snuggled up together like two birds of a feather should be. Let's take that road before us and sing a chorus or two. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. YouTube. Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and Merry Christmas to all those out there who are looking forward to the holiday. We're back here at the Silver 5150 channel going through a box of global tubes, and I had forgotten just how heavily I'd gone Mexican. I could have Feliz Navidad, but I'm pretty sure I would have messed up the language, and Jose Feliciano would have turned over in his grave. We're not going to do that. So I just stuck to uh, some old standard that was very easy and very safe. So we've got here the 2018 Libertads. Now, I've got 19s and I've got 18s. Um, I bought 100 uh, each year because I was in position to do so. And so um, that's kind of helped me, um, I guess, beef up my Mexican position. You know, um, anything close to the United States, be it Canada or uh, Mexico, I... Uh, have really tried to increase those positions because you may not always be able to fly, you know, uh, out of the country and over the ponds. You may have to just cross a border or two uh, if you need to get somewhere or you need to go do some business or maybe just get away to travel something. Um, I know that up in Canada, they have a Four Seasons, I think, up in Calgary, uh, where all the skiing and stuff is. And, oh, man, so I've got a lot of Canada, um, which I'm going to do a video on separately. There's enough Canada me to do a separate video on but for mexico uh, it's pretty much the libertads now you guys seen the supersized libertads i had they were ultra high relief and uh, they're very cool very fancy um proof like finish and uh, those were top of the line libertads um here these are the standard one ounce libertads and you know libertads don't change very much from year to year now i think in 1985 they had a deal where its design was different it was a more classic design something more along the lines of, I think, the copper uh, peso or something like that. And um, they were just basically, you know, trying to figure out a way to spruce things up. I think even here next year, or in 2022, or in 2021, the uh, United States uh, American Silver Eagle is supposed to change its design after uh, 35 years. All right, regardless of all that, um, these are the 2019 and 2018 Libertads. You know, um, they just are a very good standard. Uh, from Mexico. I mean, they've got gold ones, uh, but the gold ones are very low mintage and they're kind of hard to come by. I mean, gold is more expensive relative silver anyway, but um, when it comes to the mintages of gold out of Mexico, it, it's quite a bit uh, higher than, say, what silver, because believe it or not, Mexico is the most silver rich country in the world. Um, they have oil, they have a coastline, they have um, you know, uh, other natural resources, gold, silver, I think even some precious gems, but because their government, military, and police force is so corrupt, corrupt, sorry, they can't seem to pull it together. So here's hoping um, that they do pull it together. And when they do, me and my friends and my family and my business partners, we can go into Mexico, have lots of currency to get some things done, maybe have some fun, and uh, and do it up El Mexicano <laughs> style. Uh, yeah, so try to get yourself some of these um, Silver Libre Tods if you can. The later you get up in years, the... Um, cheaper they are to acquire. You know, uh, as you get further back in years, it's like with any other coin, the premiums start to go up. But um, go ahead and grab some of these if you can. These are very uh, these are very uh, helpful in the coming paradigm. I think that we are going to have, you know, a period where silver coinage and gold coinage is going to pretty much rule the day. And I want to be ready for that. So that's why I'm doing these big purchases now at, 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 at a cost, by the way. I told you, it's, it's a detriment to me. But it's worth it because I think it's going to pay off massive dividends. Uh, I think so. Other stackers believe so. And my investment group thinks so. So these guys are uh, online with me. And, and we're going to really, really see something this year. See how it turns out. All right, folks. If you like this content, always uh, uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And um, I will see you in the next video.